Hudson County Sheriff's Office will try to take over a private prison after a scabies outbreak. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan explains, running that prison could cost taxpayers. This is not going to happen overnight. Sheriff Hall says it will take about a year for him to write up a contract to show to the council. And even then, it's likely that the sheriff's office would cost more to run the facility. If you go into it already knowing what you want, you don't care what it costs. Uh, if you're pro or anti, you're already sold. Reflecting on a special meeting from a week ago, the sheriff says he now knows his direction. It is an extremely complicated relationship. Um, it was a three-pronged deal. There's a state of Tennessee, the county, and then a private company. Uh, and so it's not, not easy to just unplug and plug in somewhere else. The contractor, Core Civic, formerly the Corrections Corporation of America, finds itself in hot water with Metro Council, who've asked the sheriff to explore options to take over the detention facility. This after an outbreak of scabies-like rashes, rashes that spread to Metro employees and their families. However, the sheriff says the council may have some difficult decisions to make because the city may have to make up for costs saved by using a private company. For people who say, I don't care what it costs, I just don't want a private company. I think we're doing the, the voters a disservice. We have to be careful about that. You see, the inmates in Core Civic are paid for by the state, and Core Civic is able to house them at a lower cost than the sheriff's office. So tomorrow, if they're out of the picture, the money they're sending to the CCA today is not close to what it would take us to do it. Yeah. So who's going to pay the difference? Is the state going to say, we so much don't want to manage our own inmate, here's your money? Or is the county so willing to get rid of this situation, they're willing to pay more than the state is going to give us? to handle the state's problem. Food services, stock, warehouses, policy changes, and the biggest one, staff will all have to be taken into account for creating a bid, something the sheriff it would take a while. doesn't want to rush into. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Currently, it costs CoreCivic about $18 million a year to run that facility. The sheriff says a rough estimate could be around $20 million for the sheriff's office to take over.